never actually recorded a video with someone here. What are you doing? Oh, well, are you recording? Already? Yes, it's recording already. I'm sorry, I'm move it to your side. Oh, yeah. look at this perfectionism. Hey, it's A back on your screen with another one. You know what time it is. We're adding to the Wine Fairy series. This time it's a Sean Gervaisi. It's an Italian classic wine. I figured since this is Thanksgiving weekend at the time of filming this, this would be a perfect time to try this wine that pairs well with turkey. Even though, I don't know about you, I'm not really fond of turkey, more of a chicken person. But if you are, say, an American, because by the time this is posted, Canadian Thanksgiving is over, you would probably want to get you a bottle of this. When I looked online, this retailed for $15, but for some reason it checked out at nine, not complaining, but a little scared at how this is going to taste, right? But we'll see. So what we expect from a Sangiovese is the typical red classic color. Think black cherry like the other reds we've tried so far. We're going to expect more of a spiced flavor and notes, but you know what they say about expectations. We shall Do see. Make, Pardon? Do not make expectations. Exactly. Well, it is already smelling a lot more potent than the last two we did. Seriously? It's giving more than the Cabernet Sauvignon. Then that's going to be my wine if it's strong. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, me though, I love that we have you with the ad libs. So personally, I prefer the last wine that we tried, which was the Pinot Noir, because I like red wines that are barely there. Things that are very subtle, but you know, sophisticated with it. This one is definitely more punchy off rip. You are getting balsamic vinegar, which is not necessarily something I want to smell when I'm drinking red wine. It's got that kind of sour smell to it, which actually might go well, like I said, with meat dishes. Anything Italian, pretty much anything that's going to have red pepper, tomatoes, it's a go. It's about the same color, that plum rich color. There's not much when you swirl the glass. So I'm guessing that it is dry and medium bodied at most. Let's see what the first sip is like. That's a lot sweeter and a lot less dry than I thought it'd be. So it's nine grams which it doesn't taste like nine grams because it's got a little bit more sweetness to it. It is causing more salivation, but not so much where you're like, <sniffs> it's just a little bit that would help with the palate, especially if you're having something like turkey. Maybe it's not enough for something like duck, but you could definitely get away with short ribs, something that has a little bit of fattiness to it. It's definitely not as dry as I thought it'd be. It's 13 grams, so this will catch up with you real quick. I mean, don't mind the lip gloss. A little bit of spice notes. I'm not getting mushroom, which is what a lot of Sangioveses are supposed to have. But the more I smell and sniff it, the more I am getting that balsamic vinaigrette type of scent. Like it's not balsamic vinaigrette, which is a good thing because no one wants to drink balsamic vinaigrette, but it has similar notes to it. I mean, yeah, it's good for salad, <laughs> but not good for wine. <laughs> There is a little bit of that spice though. That spice is tickling my nose. I don't want to sneeze. It's still, I would consider a light wine. Like it's giving me the lightness of a Pinot Noir with more flavor than the Cabernet Sauvignon. It tickles the tongue right now because I've never had that with a wine. I haven't had a Sangiovese in what, three, four years. So I don't know if this is because it's on the lower end of the spectrum or if this is because that's what this type of wine does, but I'm not mad at it. It's something that I probably wouldn't have often, but again, seeing as it's Thanksgiving weekend, I wanted to try something different, something quintessential. Most people go for a Chardonnay or a Pinot Noir when they're having turkey, but since we already did that here on this series, I wanted to do something a little off the beaten path. And this or a Zinfandel is a good alternative to the basics or champagne, but we ain't got champagne type of money for this video. We gonna stick with the things, the rivers and the lakes that we're used to. Supposed to be getting Oregano, espresso, you know, I can't lie, that ain't in here. So maybe when you spend more, you get more. But for this basic starter pack of a Sangiovese, yeah, it's just, I'm not even getting mushrooms. Like that Unami scent or feel. It's just literally the same kind of sour as a balsamic vinaigrette, which is not selling it, but trust me, it's not as bad as I'm probably making it sound. It's a lot better than I thought it'd be for $8.95. One last whiff and sip. 
The more I sip it, the more it coats the tongue. So I think this is not a wine that I would just sip on my own time. It definitely would be something I'd have with dinner. Let me wrap up because I want to share the rest of the bottle with my friend and see what his opinions are. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Tap the like, comment down below which wine you want me to try next. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Thank God, this thing is so big. <laughs> Your girl's blind, blind. Come on. It's gonna be, it feels like it's gonna eat me alive. You can press Control minus to make it smaller. Oh.